All right, welcome to the second module or, of thinking with a pencil. So in the last um, segment, we talk about the different, the three standard views, top, front, and profile. Now let's take this and try to draw um, other shapes. Okay, so we got this and now I'm gonna visualize a cylinder. And this is cylinder is going to be uh, a positive cylinder. So this is another concept that we're going to be talking like positive and negative geometry. How we add and subtract shapes to each other. So this is a positive geometry that is um, So, so let's, let's visualize this uh, standing cylinder, a little bit um, like a can of soda or this glass. So I'm looking at it, I'm the viewer, and I'm looking at it right from here. So if I'm looking at it, how would, look, how would the front view of this cylinder look like? Okay, so now think about that. How does it look like? Visualize it. It would look like a rectangle. Just think about, again, the orthographic eyeball right here, always 90 degrees perpendicular to the surface. There's no slant, okay, because this is an orthographic view, always 90 degrees uh, to the surface, to the projected plane. So we want to look at it from that way. So in that case, our cylinder will look like a rectangle, okay. so. The dimensions, um, this cylinder is going to have a diameter. This cylinder is going to have a diameter of 10. I'm just going to say it has a diameter of 10. I just made it up. So you go ahead and we're going to do the top view of the cylinder. I'm going to go ahead right next to my rectangular prism. On the top left is going to be the front view of the cylinder. So I'm going to measure one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, ten. So because I said a diameter of ten. And then I'm going to say that it is top to bottom is going to be twelve, twelve units from top to bottom. So I'm going to say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So what I'm doing here is the construction box. And this is a really, really important concept for sketching. Remember when I tell you about sketching is a little bit like sculpting? You start always from a construction box and then you start taking out what we call the negative geometry. We'll, we'll get to that in the next uh, modules. Right here, I'm going to do my cylinder. So I have the, the front view, so I'm going to label it also front. And normally, because these are standard views, you don't have to label them all the time. I want you to, to label them for this assignment because I want you to practice the technical lettering. But normally, you don't have to label them because they're standard. So based on the placement, people will know that if it's on the uh, top left, people will know that that's the front view. And whatever is on top is the top view. Whatever is to the right will be the profile or right side. So it makes uh, the reading of these um, sketches a lot easier and also universal. OK, so I have a cylinder, okay? And this cylinder is a circular cyl cylinder. So how would it look from the top? I already gave you the answer. I said it's a circular cylinder. cylinder. So that means that the diameter of 10, I'm going to do the construction box for it. I don't need to measure these two because the views are aligned and now I'm going to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Because it's a diameter of ten. 
this is a circular cylinder. I didn't say elliptical cylinder. OK, that's all good. Now, here is going to be a real sketching test. OK, the first one was, can you make straight lines? But now, the next level is, can you make a, the best circle of your life? Sure. I can do that. I'm going to use construction lines. And I'm going to split my construction box into fourths. And now I have the center, OK? And this is uh, going to be the center of, of the circle. Now, you need to create, draw a circle inscribed on that construction box. As you can see here, I'm doing very light construction lines. I can tell you guys, Da Vinci taught, taught me this one. You start very light. Leonardo Da Vinci appeared to me in a dream and he told me, if you want to sketch something, you better start with light construction lines and then you build it up. And that's exactly what I do and I've been doing it for many years. Okay, so now we're going to add, we want people to know that this is a cylinder. So this is, a, well, this is going to be my top view, so I'm going to label them. I want you to do this also in your assignment that I'm going to talk about in a second. Top view of the cylinder, so I'm going to label it cylinder. Here is my technical lettering. I want to keep a consistent height, okay, and it's all block letters. So I have labeled cylinder. Now, right here, there's going to be a cross. I'm going to switch to a pen now that I have finished uh, my positive geometry. I'm going to use a pen to darken it so you can see it better. And I have other colors as well. Should be just one color. I'm going to use black. First off, I'm going to mark here a cross, this crossbar here is to show that that is the axis. I'm going to draw a line that goes over an eighth of an inch of out of the geometry. And that is to show that's the center lines. Yes, that's to show the center of the geometry, the center of the center of the circle. Or sometimes you want to also know the center of the ellipse. So you're doing an ellipse. Okay. Now you're going to go over with this on ink. It's a good exercise for you to go over and clean up your final drawings in, in that way. So I want you to do that also for the rectangular prism and the um, technical lettering. Remember, this first part of the modules it's not very creative. It's mainly just understanding the theory and also a lot of practice. A lot of practice with lines, a lot of practice visualizing things and being able to sketch what you're visualizing. Okay, so I got, I got my, uh, my cylinder all right. Now, do I have to do a profile of the cylinder? You may ask, do I do the profile view? How does it look like? Well, it looks exactly the same as the front view because it's a cylindrical object. So then you don't have to draw it. Orthographic sketching and standard views are all about minimalism. Just say what you need to say. And if it's repeated information, you don't have to say it. So we're done with uh, the cylinder. I'm going to switch back here. On the back side of your paper, you will have an isometric grid. Okay? So the isometric grid is the isometric grid is um, a way of visualizing things in 3D. Okay? So we're going to have a little bit of it's also 
uh, a square grid, only that it is at 60 degrees. I'm going to have the viewer here. I'm going to do a cone man. And I'm going to go ahead and draw these axis lines to show you what the viewer is looking at. Okay, so I'm going to have y for height and, and I'm going to have z for depth and x for left to right. So here is left to right, top to bottom, and front to back. So you have the same system here. Now what I want you to do is to draw the rectangular prism and the cylinder on the back of this page. So now we're going to take, I'd like to start from the bottom and build up. So first of all, I'm going to do the construction box of the bottom of my rectangular prism. So my rectangular prism, if I look back to my information here, is, my rectangular prism is left to right, 12 units, top to bottom, 8 units, front to back, 8 units. So left to right, 12 units. So I'm going to start right here and count 12 measures. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 12. Very light construction lines. Now I want to go up eight units. One, two, three, four, five, six. Wow, this paper is really faded. Seven and eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Very light construction lines. Now I have the front view. Now I want to do the profile view. Front to back, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, I got my rectangular prism already figured out. I don't need any other measures here. Now I'm going to take my eraser, come prepared. And now I have my rectangular prism project on an isometric projection. So now it looks 3D. So we're taking the orthographic information and we are representing it on this system that we call uh, the isometric view. I'm going to do the same now with uh, the cylinder. So again, I like to start from uh, the foundation and then build it up. So I'm just going to show you how to draw the cylinder in the pictorial view. So again, um, I'm going to count eight measures for my construction box. One, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And now eight on the other. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So the construction box of this plane looks like a rhombus. And we'll do the same construction as we did for the circle that we did on the orthographic view. Now that is in 3D. We're going to split the rhombus in half this way, half this way. 
Okay, so that's the base of the cylinder. And then we're going to first start off the minor axis. We draw a curve connecting these two points, A and B. I'm just going to call them like that. So this is the major axis. And the reason why it looks like this is like if you look at a cylinder on a slant, it, it actually looks like an ellipse. So if this cylinder is seen in 3D, we need to draw an ellipse. So we're going to have the minor axis right here, and then the major axis connecting these two. You want to connect them with a smooth curve. That way you have your cylinder. Okay. Now from the center, I want to build up eight units, so it would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wait, how tall was it? Let's go back. Oh wait, it was 12 units high, so eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. Right here, this is going to be my new center for the top of the cylinder. So I'm going to go ahead and count four each ways because this is the radius. So I can be counting from here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. I can already connect these two. And then one, two, three, four. So you can sketch with me, but if I'm going too fast, don't worry about it. You can pause the video and take your time. This is really not like anything you should rush to. You need to let your body learn these movements. You need to learn your hand and your eye, this hand-eye coordination to um, grow on you. And again, like some people never stop sketching. So this is probably be, gonna be really easy for you. And for other people, it's gonna be more challenging. That's, that's fine. Just take your time to acquire this skill as we're sketching this simple form. So now we have the top and bottom, okay? Now we're gonna connect the maximum points where this cylinder is reaching. We're gonna freehand this connection. I'm going to try to make it a straight line, which means that you might need to adjust your circle because there's always a lot of room for interpretation on these uh, minor and major axes because you're sketching them. Now, what I'm going to do as a final is I'm going to erase this part because if I'm looking at the cylinder, I'm not, if it's a solid cylinder, I'm actually not going to be seeing I'm not going to see, be seeing this. Okay. Now the last step is going to be to go ahead and darken all the positive geometry, and then you're done. I'm going to switch back here to Blackboard to show you. We're on the sketching module. The sketching module right here. This is going to be your first assignment. Okay. So I'm going to be asking you to. Um, Draw rectangular prism, um, circular cylinder. But also, I want you to do one more that is going to be the cone and the pyramid. Okay? So these are the geometric primitives. The only geometric primitive that is missing is the torus. So the torus is pretty much like a donut. But I'm not going to have you sketch a donut. But if you want to sketch the donut, that's pretty cool. I'll look at it. I always, I mean, who doesn't love donuts, right? But then the next time you eat a donut, you're going to be like, that's not a donut, that's a torus. Uh, with those geometric shapes, with these geometric primitives, technically you can make anything. 
You can make anything in the world by adding, subtracting these shapes, you can build a car. And this is the basic of uh, graphics and geometry. Uh, anyway, so if you look here under your first assignment, I'm asking you using the uh, CET 116 paper, do this. There should be on both sides like I just did. You're going to have the cylinder, the rectangular prism, the cone, and the pyramid. Okay, so you're going to need to think how does the cone look from the top? How does the pyramid look from the front? All that. So here is like a little giveaway for you. Like this is how it looks like a student made it. So uh, you go ahead, uh, sketch this up, and let me know how it goes. Thanks.